Alright, so here we are on Aliens vs. Predator Mission, or Marine Mission 3, and actually this is take 2, because the first take I tried, um, I didn't really plan well on my conversation, and I was kind of cut off at the end, so you know, I wanted to kind of redo it for that. And also looking through it, the game was kind of glitching or whatever, it would, like, I'd go and it would just pause, and Refinery keep going, and then pause. And, like, by the way, that's the refinery I just came from. So, I, yeah, I just decided to redo it as a second take. Um, but yeah, that's the refinery. I just came from the refinery, and here I am. Now with my pulse rifle, and yes, this game kind of has violence. That, by the way, was the predator with the eyes that just flashed. Uh, that you may or may not have seen, and I'll talk about him eventually, either in this walkthrough or the next one. Um, but yes, this is what the predator does to its victims. That is... Also, I warned but you in the beginning about violence, and then language, as you've already seen. Um, but yeah, this time I do actually start with you know, the flamethrower and also, or the flamethrower and also the uh, pulse rifle. Um, which I'm actually going to exchange the flamethrower, because I don't really like it that much, as you guys know, for this smart gun. And... Here is a xenomorph. Yep. The smart gun, you know how all weapons I mentioned have a secondary feature? The smart gun's secondary feature is to kind of zoom in, and it will put an outline of the enemy when you zoom in. So, like, I can zoom in and, like, if a xenomorph's hidden, I can zoom in on it, and it'll show me the outline of it. Or zoom on where I think it is, at least. Oh, wait, no, I... Oops. I forgot to activate the door. Um, so I'm gonna go up and do that. One thing I did forget to mention, uh, about when I was describing the Queen in my last video, um, was the Queen does have the two normal arms, like, on her sides, but she also has, uh, in these kind of, like, smaller arms on her chest. So the Queen actually has four arms, not the normal two. Uh, two on her sides, and then two on, two, uh, one on each side, and then two on her chest. Yeah. That's why I mentioned that. Now see, look, it provides the outline. And then I'm an awful shot, as we've already established. But I did get him the second time. Where is the Xenomorph? Use the motion tracker. Use the motion tracker. Oh! Spit acid. Yeah. And, as the smart gun now, I do want to talk about the smart gun. Interesting. I don't really rec- By the way, there's the dropship. I don't recognize the smart gun from the series. Like, I haven't seen it in any of the movies. Um, I would like you guys to let me know if it is actually in the series. Um, either Alien, in either any of the Alien movies, uh, or Predator movies, or AVP movies, because those do all technically count, um, in this. It's not just an Alien game, it is a AVP game, so all those movies would count. Um, and if it isn't actually in the series, I have an idea of why they might have included it. It's because in an FPS, there are four traditional weapons. Um, for example, there's the pistol, which I have right here. Um, there's usually a pistol. Oh, by the way, as well as mentioning secondary shots, the secondary shot of the pistol is to fire three shots at once. That's not me just firing really rapidly. Like, that was me firing rapidly, so I obviously can't do it as fast as the three rapid shots, but it does use up more ammo, but it can be more useful. Uh, but yeah, the three, like, there's the typically the pistol. Oh, go! That's a face I do. That's what it'll do. Where are you? Why am I stuck? Why? Alright, but yeah, there's the pistol, that's one of the traditional weapons. Um, I'd say another one would be, like, kind of the automatic rifle type thing that like shoots weapons really quickly like for example in my case it's oh uh, here it's the pulse rifle which i'm actually going to take out i know i don't normally use this to kill face huggers because it's a waste ammo but you know quite frankly i mean i'm using it so deal with it i don't think i should really care but so hard to track ah <laughs> Jeez, I cannot aim to save my life, which 
may actually end up coming true. Is it dead now? Yeah, it's dead. Alright. Um, but yeah, so, like, in this case, it's the pulse rifle, and, like, other games, for example, I'm gonna use Halo, um, they have the assault rifle, so, you know, the automatic weapon is very traditional. Oh, crap. Yeah, I got it, good. Um, well, I still have plenty of ammo, so it's okay. But yeah, so there is the autom automatic weapon, which is very... Traditional. Ah, oh, come on! I don't do well against face huggers. I mean, this is the second stim I've ha had to use, and I'm only six minutes in. This isn't going to end well. Oh, yeah, I got it. Ha. Jeez. I don't like, I don't like face like this. But yeah, um, the other traditional weapon is the shotgun, which is actually in the movie series, so they were able to kind of add that without modifying it. And then I'd say the, uh, fourth and final traditional weapon would be the, like, a sniper rifle type thing. Like a rifle. Like, in this case, the scoped rifle. And since there wasn't really one in the series, I think they decided to come up with their own scoped rifle, kind of to add to it. Wait. There they are. They're gonna pick me up. Yep. Um, and since there wasn't one in the series, they decided to design something that, you know, could work for the series. And here they launch missiles. Boom. So I think that's why they added, and boom, that's kind of an issue, because that was going to pick me up. But so, they probably added it just to kind of make, add to the game, to give you a more of a, like a long range rifle weapon. And by the way, it told me to go down here, but I know where I have to go, so just jumping down there was quicker. So that's probably where they added that. Um, but again, let me know if it is actually, you know, in the movies, because... I, it's entirely possible it is. And I've played this before recently, so I know what I thought. I was fairly certain. Maybe not. I thought there was a face I got in here. I guess not. I mean, I, I'm fine that there's not a face I got in here. I don't really want to have to face a face hugger. <laughs> um. But, you know, I guess there was, I just thought there was one in there. Yep. I don't have any good names. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention was the spitting Xenomorph. Uh, which, they are in the series, actually. They are in Alien Resurrection. So, this isn't something they just came up with kind of out of the blue. It's like, you know what? We should give Xenomorphs long range. Though they probably... So, however, it shouldn't be here, because, for those of you who haven't seen the movies, um, like, I already mentioned in Alien Resurrection that, uh, Ripley was cloned so they could get the Xenomorph. Now, the reason is, also when she was cloned, they mentioned that Ripley took on certain characteristics of the Xenomorph, so it would stand to reason that the Xenomorphs took on certain characteristics of her. And one of them, at least I believe this is one of the characteristics they took on, was spitting. Because, you know, in any of the earlier movies, Xenomorphs couldn't spit. Well, actually, hold on. Before I get into this, I'm gonna... Before I... Um, and so it stands to reason that... Uh, the Xenomorph got the spitting ability because they took on traits um, from of a human with the cloned Ripley. Because, you know, they did also mention how the DNA was kind of mixed up. Um, but then it does make... But then mentioning that how Xenomorphs haven't spit in earlier movies, that makes me think of the Facehugger, actually. 
and Alien 3. Actually, maybe it is entirely possible that these were natural creatures to add. I know there's a face I missed. Oh, it's adults in war somewhere around. Maybe the face huggers or the spinning feature was entirely natural to add, because thinking about it, in Alien, the face hugger did actually spit onto the guy's helmet, put in the glass, and then you know, kind of um then impregnated him. Kane it was. Uh and in Alien 3, um we see the Xenomorph actually um, spit. There you are. Got ya. We see the xenomorph actually. The first victim of the xenomorph is actually spit on. Um, and the acid gets in him and he falls into the fan and that kills him. So it's actually entirely possible that Alien Three, that the whole spitting of the the whole xenomorph spitting wasn't just um because of DNA mixing and the cloning, and it was actually just a normal feature of it. So, I withdraw my rejections of the spinning xenomorph that they were, that it is actually um, entirely possible and um for a xenomorph to come on for a xenomorph to uh not a non-clone xenomorph to spit. So, I guess that is possible. Never mind. Oh well. Well hey, I learned something. That's cool. Um, but then, Xenomorphs do actually take on traits of the host. Because, like, I mean, the normal Xenomorph has the, the one I described, but the Xenomorph from Alien 3 actually, um, is different. Um, in the sense that. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have the back spikes. Oh. That was weird. Got him. Of course, I'm out of... Um... Whatever. Stims, that's it. So I should find one soon. Oh boy. Isn't this gonna be fun? But yeah, that's what the normal Xenomorph looks like. Um, the one from Alien 3 doesn't have the back spikes, and it prefers a quadrupedal stance, as opposed to the, um... I'm gonna take the shotgun, actually. Because I do so much scope rifle, that is very helpful. Um... It prefers a quadrupedal stance. Like, it came from a dog, so it prefers a quadrupedal pedal stance as opposed to a bipedal stance. So it kind of gives the implication that uh, Xenomorphs take on traits from their host. And it's going to be further seen in AVPR, where the Xenomorph there um, has, you know, the four mandibles and the dreadlocks of the Xenomorph. So, it's entirely likely that Xenomorphs, um, so it is established that Xenomorphs take on traits of their host. Uh, not necessarily, well... And that cloning may not actually have as much of an ish, uh, fact, may not be as much of a factor into that as I thought. Jeez, I know I'm wasting shotgun ammo on this, but I do need to kill him. Got him. And now I get to use this stem, yay. Jeez, I'm going through stems a lot faster than I, than I was the first round. Um... But yeah, so Xenomorphs do, when the embryo is implanted, they do actually take on traits of the host. Boom! That was the Predator. So, that's been established. Uh, and actually, speaking of, um, kind of the Predator that, that was just up there. See, that is the Predator who's just sh shooting at me. Oh, by the way, the game's not glitching now, of course. Now, if I mention that, it's entirely possible it will glitch, but... You know, hopefully not. Um, I actually do want to talk about the Predator a little. Now, I don't actually know as much about the Predator as I do about the Xenomorph, um, but I can talk to you about what I kind of know. Um, it's very smart, a very advanced civilization. It's got um, two arms, two legs, and a head, similar to a human. But its head has these, like, mand mandible-type things, I guess. And I'm gesturing with my hand that you can't really see. 
but it, so it's got like these flaps over its mouth that it can kind of use, and these four like spiked tooth things almost. Um, yeah, thank you. So that's the predator. Um, and then the predator also has the traditional weapon of the plasma cannon, which is what it was just shooting at me. But then, um, it, in this game at least, it also has the. Uh, the combi stick, which is this spear-like thing that it throws. Um, the spin disc, or smart disc, yeah, that's what it's called, which is an AVP. Also, the combi disc is an AVP, and the plasma casters in all of them, all the Predator movies, uh, and, a and the AVP movies, of course. And then it also has these bomb-like things, which is an AVPR, so none of the Predator stuff in the game was just kind of come up with. And then the only thing of the... The only thing that really... The game developers just kind of made for the game, I think, was the smart gun. But again, let me know in the comments if the smart gun was actually in the main series. Or in one of the movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, more things Uh... And the, the... Predator very much finds Anno and likes to hunt, um, which is why, you know, it kind of, like, will, which is why, you know, kind of, like, skins humans and gets heads off humans, which you may have seen. So it very much likes to hunt. It's very traditional of the Predator. Um, and it's a very good jumper, very strong, and one of the things about it, it uses has infrared vision, it can also um, to track humans, and then also has this other type of vision, like to track xenomorphs, I don't really know what it's called what to call it, because xenomorphs don't release heat so it has to have this special type of vision to track them, but it does have that uh... what else? jeez a little too close for me no Got him. Um. But yeah, that's the scene. Uh. Oh yeah, and it has. And it also can, you know, kind of record voices of one of the creatures. Like, it can record a, voices of a human and use that to kind of, like, play it somewhere else and distract them to get them to move away. It also has these kind of four spear type things on its hands. It's like these four knives that kind of has attached to its, um, wrists, and it also can turn invisible, it has cloaking devices. Uh, and that's about all I can think about of the Xenomorph. And by the way, that was a synthetic, a combat android, that's a synthetic, which is, jeez, EMP, um, and those are in the series, they're in all the alien movies, um, and that's another thing Wayland Yutani does, they also make synthetics. Um. So yeah, they have made synthetics, and these ones are trying to kill me, and that one's got a shotgun, which is very detrimental to my health. Trust me, I've kn I know from pre previous playthroughs of this game. And also, if you destroy its head, that doesn't necessarily kill it. Which has been established in the game. Um, when the one synthetic went kind of crazy in Alien, um, they ripped off its head, and that still didn't really kill it. And in Alien 3, after Bishop had been cut in half, who, the synthetic Bishop, that is, had, after he'd been cut in half, um, he was actually, he could still function, because he was cut in half when the Queen stole away, away on the dropship, which the dropship is also from the series, of course, and does have those kind of wings to fold out with the guns. Um, he could still fuck, but the synthetic bishop could still function. I mean, he had to kind of be, like, operate, or like, he had to kind of be connected up to this machine type thing, but he could still function. So, yeah. Um... 
but yeah, that's the end of the mission three, and luckily I did uh, have a chance to bring up everything I wanted to talk about, I even got to the Predator, which I didn't in the previous um, walkthrough, the failed walkthrough for this. Um, but yeah, see you in mission four.